Good morning and welcome back to Namibia. I hope it's not too loud with the waves here behind me. We're down on the beach on the Skeleton Coast, which is an absolutely beautiful part of the country. We are about 100 kilometers north of Swakopmund, and I feel like this beach stretches all the way back to the town. Uh, it's called the Skeleton Coast for a reason. Shipwrecks are scattered throughout this coast all the way up to Angola and this beach just goes on and on and on and on and on and we stopped here to get a, uh, a very iconic shot of the shipwreck but as you can see it's the middle of the day which for uh, landscape photography as you guys know being mostly photographers not the best time so what I've done to try and get creative is brought out the uh, Benrol filter set that I've been using for a few years now I put a 10 stop on the front stacked with a six stop to get a four minute exposure at f8 iso 100 and i think it looks absolutely fantastic it's at 70 millimeters one shot one take and i got it right away so i'm very happy with that and uh yeah this video starts right now with this photo let's go <laughs> The sun has gone down and that was another spectacular end to our like fifth or sixth day here in Namibia and you got this incredible scene out here behind me. Just amazing sort of uh, you know mountainous area and, uh, and a beautiful little campsite slash lodge which is just here behind me. We're en route towards Atosha and uh, I was really hoping that we'd get a chance to go on like a mini kind of safari walk this evening and see some of the desert elephants but it was just crazy hot today like 34 degrees in the afternoon when we arrived. We arrived at about 2 p.m. and it was so hot that you just really couldn't do anything. So luckily this campsite, uh, it's called something, I think it's a white lady, I might be wrong, something maybe White Elephant Lodge uh, in Brandberg, Namibia uh, is just incredible. Like the tourism infrastructure in Namibia and South Africa is so good. If you don't know already, it's just really, really nice to uh, to be staying here. And they've got two pools. They've got a full, fully stocked restaurant, a bar, and cabins and tents. And uh, we're staying in some of the uh, rooms. And it's just really, really nice. So uh, we're happy to be here to see this incredible sunset and continue our journey tomorrow. But yeah, hoping to share a little bit of this incredible location with you guys. And then uh, we continue on to Atosha and hopefully some more wildlife.
we are on the road again, heading towards Treffelfontein, which I think I'm pronouncing correctly, but I might be pretty far off. And it is hot. We are crossing sort of central Namibia and kind of the north, like west region of the country. And uh, yeah, apparently the uh, the desert elephants are somewhere around here. The uh, the hotel owner where we were staying last night, she said that they're about a hundred kilometers away from the hotel, which is where uh, sort of they like to spend most of their time throughout the year, which is one of the reasons why the White Lady Hotel, uh, where we we're staying last night, is there. And uh, they cross this big open area. It's such a vast uh, space. And they kind of follow like a, a riverbed. So every once in a while, we're seeing these amazing signs that you definitely don't see in Canada every day or uh, or Europe, really, or anywhere else. But still, it's uh, it's pretty cool to get a shot of that super touristy but as you guys know I'm a super tourist so I'm definitely gonna take a photo of that and even make a little piece to camera because that sign is pretty awesome all right we continue and we have landed in an absolute paradise. I feel like I'm on the planet of Naboo from Star Wars. I think that's what it was called. And uh, look at these like amazing stone and kind of clay sort of cementish style houses. They're, they're all these rooms that are built within these rocks, these beautiful big kind of, I want to call them like elephant rocks. No idea exactly what kind of rock it is, but uh, let me know in the comments if you do. Check this out behind me. And all the rooms are sort of built in between these rocks with every room having an outdoor shower and an outdoor toilet. I haven't been able to film any of that as B-roll because uh, people are already all checked in. And of course myself and our guide Armin, we're, uh, we're putting the staff a calm. So I'm not staying in anything too fancy, but I am still here on the property. They let me in at least, so that's nice. And uh, there is a beautiful pool here too. It's not very big because we're in the middle of the desert, but there is a nice cool rock pool, which is a uh, very good touch. And of course, in a place like this that's so remote, they do provide uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is part of the whole package. So unfortunately for us, we're only staying here for one night en route to Atosha, but I've just shared with you a little bit of uh, the B-roll from here, and uh, we're gonna do a sundowner next in this incredible location, and I hope, I hope I get another chance to do a star time-lapse. If you haven't realized already, I've been playing around a lot with uh, different ways to do star time-lapses. The Canon does the built-in movie uh, time-lapse where it doesn't take individual stills, it just takes like screenshots of what it's recording and uh, and then stitches it together for you in post, which I uh, actually really like. And then the Sony a7S III, which I'm on right now, has a built-in intervalometer where I can take individual shots and then play with it in post myself. So I've been playing around with both of those while we're, uh, you know, in these beautiful remote locations with dark skies to get the best of the stars. So yeah, hopefully we'll get another beautiful sunset and, uh, and a star time lapse. And then tomorrow we're off to Atosha and what I hope to be the some of the highlights of this video with some uh, some wildlife. So I'll see you there.
Yep, you've been in Atosha National Park for all of what, five minutes? Yes. And uh, probably one of the best lion sightings that, that I've ever seen. Uh, not that I've seen that many, but that was incredible. So well, it was, was, it was just, uh, yeah, luck at first sight. Five little babies? Yeah. Five, five little, little cubs? Little cubs. Two females, one male, beautiful mane, perfect sunrise light. That was stunning. Incredible. More to come.